So, YouTube, Iris, I'm here to vent, I'm angry, and I don't have anyone to talk to. So the first one I'm going to talk about is how I have too many friends who treat me in a way that I don't appreciate being treated. So I need y'all on YouTube here to give me advice on how to walk away from friendships or relationships. Because in the end of the day, for example, would you have a friend who, for example, anytime you hung out with them would only play video games and never pay attention to you? Or only watch shows and literally just have you within their presence, in their background, just within their airspace? Would you do that? I need your advice, seriously. Would you keep someone around for like, this is almost an eight year, eight year friendship. Would you just like hang out with someone almost four days straight knowing they will just do anything in the world, but communicate with you and hang out with you. No watching movies as friends. Like you've watched this, let's just say you've watched this person go camping and they don't even like camping, but they went camping with a whole squad of people. How would you feel if you knew you spent this many years on one person and all you were enough for them was how much you cook for them? How much y'all can hang out, be able to share cosmetic moments, spiritual cosmetic moments. Like that's, that's it. That's my friendship. My friendship is like, I'm literally like, they're in my fucking environment right now. You thought I came over here to take a vlog and just be by myself. I'm trying to find things to do so I can actually entertain myself because I'm apparently, I'm just going to have to assume after this many years that I'm so boring that there's so many other better things to do within my environment. So that's just one story. Next story is about the fact that actually this is about giving people money. So this is two different stories. First one was when I gave someone $2,000 for a car. I expected all the money back, every single dime of it. We were supposed to, it was just the agreement. I'm so naive, yo. I'm so naive. I really thought they were giving it back to me. I'm really naive too. Like even my first relationship, I got cheated on within like four days. I'm dumb. I walked in there thinking I was gonna be a loyal as fuck. I was like, yeah, we're gonna be like a team and we're gonna do everything together. Yeah, fuck that. Anyways, so I gave this bitch $200. Bitch, oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't want to say that. It's not that big of a deal. But like, I'm actually really fucking feeling about all of this. Like, all five of y'all really fucking hurt me, man. <sighs> Anyways, so I bought her a $2,000 car. I expected every dime back, everything. Because I'm in such a, they see my position I'm in. They know what position I'm in. Every, everyone that I'm mentioning knows what position I'm in. And, uh... I got $1,200 back and that was just because, okay, $600 of it, I was giving a, a discount because we were gonna get each other Christmas gifts. I was gonna give her a $600 discount on the car for paying me back. And then she was supposed to get me some kind of like DS, it was like $400 and the game itself was like $100. So it would've been $500, she would've saved $100 technically. I never got that gift. And then on New Year's she messaged me when there was $237 left of the, um, of the, the $600 discount. So that's $1,400 technically. And messaged me and said, um, new year, new me, no debt. So that's how much I was worth to them. Their money meant so much more. Anyways. And that's okay. They can feel proud saying that. They can feel proud saying that. So another time was when I gave um, someone money to um, invest in their um, themselves, their business, things like that, right? And um, the thing is just that I, after this, like, I didn't really want to give nobody money. This was the last time that I had money in a, in a long time. Like, money where it's been saved up. And it, like the first time I ever had money like this, I saved up $5,000. Yeah, you heard me, $5,000. I saved $5,000. That's how I was able to give this girl $200 for the car. And that was just to play with. That was just to play with, okay? Anyways, so this person got $1,200. They think it's $600. That's what they remember. It's $1,200. The reason why I remember this is because I spent three months doing it. For, not three, yeah, three months. $300 three months? No. Yes, it was four months. Okay, $300, four months, $1,200, right? By the end of the four months, they're sitting down, they're aggravated. They spent those same months not making any money with their business. And they were diligently trying, though. Who could say you can? That's the whole part of being an entrepreneur. It doesn't mean anything other than you have to diligently try. You have to diligently try. You have to be very strong-minded to be an entrepreneur. So with that said, I invested in them. But I know consciously that since I was in such a position where no one was ever giving me back my money, I highly probably only told them they can only take this money if they were going to pay me back it in a full. And that's what I feel like within my intuition, my soul, I remember. I try not to think about this too much because I don't really want to remember too much about it, right? Because it's not the only thing that I've lost from this person. You know, this is not the only thing that I've lost. We, we were supposed to work together in many situations, many situations, many situations many situations but you know it just didn't work out that way you know it's never worked out that way and then all of us could have been thriving but you know it never worked out that way remember these are selfish people 
They make selfish goals decisions because it helps elevate them. It helps make them stronger. And that's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with being able to care, care about yourself. But like, yeah, wow. I just didn't expect that there would be such huge level of selfishness when it came to my existence, you know? Because of how much I actually tried to really help. <laughs> and um, yeah, so um, I got the money back in depreciating items, you know, once I realized that because they were asking me like, oh yeah, you know, like, because I, do you want me to get this? Do you want me to get that? I can get you this, I can get you that. And at first I was just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was really taking a wait. I'm not really getting the cash back, am I? And then I realized, wait, this person never really ever pays me back cash. Like, even when they have money, <laughs> even when they have money, it takes me almost up to three weeks to get $10 back from them. Ah, <laughs> uh, no word of a lie on my soul. Like, <laughs> so yeah, um, that was, that's, that's basically that experience. Um... The last experience, because I've been on three people now, though, this one really, um, this one really gets me somewhat, because, um, it's like, okay, <clears throat> I'm not surprised, only because it was a new Forge friendship, it was this year, I started, I met this person, wait, was this the story I started with? I couldn't start with this story, no way. I feel like I did tell this story already, the person that, um, and if I didn't, well, you're gonna have to go through it again, sorry. <clears throat> but... I met someone in the beginning of this year, they were supposed to be um, a good friend to me, trust them, we were supposed to work together, we were supposed to build together, grow together, shit, 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 etc. Uh, but whenever I didn't do what they wanted, they got really reactive, and it came to a point where it's kind of possessive, because they wanted to stay single, and, well not stay single, they were like, you're mine. But then whenever we argued, even in public, they're like, I'm single, we were never dating. Like I literally have digital evidence of him summoning people that. <laughs> so it's like, I'm not going to take you seriously. I'm not going to take you seriously because you're not taking me seriously. And with that said, by the end of it, because I didn't tell them when I came back on my vacation, I decided to guarantee three days by myself. I stayed home. I was a homebody. I didn't even go nowhere. Okay? I didn't even go nowhere. Whole body. And long story short, when they asked me for all their stuff back because they were calling me a liar and a bunch of other really vulgar names, I brought them their stuff and they looked at their things. It was money too. And they said oh so is that it and I went yeah that's it and they took it they looked at it it was obviously okay with them because they walked away and then they threw me my glasses which were deeply scratched lenses frames everything that's how much value I have to most people that I'm meeting this year to most people that I have in my life so I gotta reflip my whole law of attraction right now because a lot of people around me ain't making me feel very valuable at all and I think honestly I'm way better than some of the people that I have in my life because honestly, I don't have much right now, but when I do, I prosper. And when I prosper, I help. And when I help, it comes back to me and the karma really feels good. So honestly, this is just a bump in the road. Some of these people, God's either gonna keep them in my life or not. Please pray for me. 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 Please subscribe. Please share. I don't even say about the last person because they weren't even that relevant. Like I literally mentioned them in the last video that got deleted because I was just bored and I felt like I wanted to mention another person, but they're really not that significant. It was something in January. They just messaged me a bunch of folks and was just like, oh yeah, you just like someone who gets like any help from anyone else in this world. But that basically means they're a broke bitch and that they are envious of anyone who grants me opportunities, which by the way, I work for. So any other day, I gotta go. Okay? Gotta go. Gotta go try to, uh, just keep focusing on the positive, manifest some better things. <clears throat> and remember that, at the end of the day, things always align themselves. Everything aligns. 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 So guess what? The only thing that I'll have to say to you is that I'm going to be updating you with a another vlog tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. And it's going to start saying when I'm going to start doing more regular vlogs and things like that. Like, I'm actually putting some thought into it because I want to be able to really see what I can do. This one was definitely just another spontaneous, I'm really not feeling good right now type of vlog. And that's why it's long. Because to be honest, most of my vlogs are long, but that's because I don't even know what to say. I don't even plan in them. I just want to talk. <laughs> Yo. Why do I feel like I'm telling YouTube I need friends? Mm. 
I don't need friends. Please don't. Don't try to be my friend. <laughs> we all friends, but please don't try to be my friend. I ain't no here trying to be friends with nobody no more. Anyways, I love me. I love anyone who's going to support me and rock with me. I guess I'll tell you what I am right now. If you haven't seen my first vlog, the one where it says what I want to do within the next five years, um, you should check it out. It's one of the first ones I ever uploaded because I'm really... I'm really fixated on this law of attraction and manifestation and a lot of it surprisingly has okay I won't say it has come true but I can see it coming true like I can see it slowly coming into fruition and it's kind of exciting so um hope you guys have an excellent day and um I better be ready for my vlog tomorrow I tried to stay cute for this one but you know it is what it is no oh, wait never mind i forgot that there's a lot of things over there and i don't want to expose none this is no one else's business no one else's business let me move that back closer so y'all can see me a little bit because god damn oh my god now you can see too much of me anyways all right no seriously you guys need to start commenting on things that you want to see too that's personally about me things that we could talk about like things that actually can be actively talked about because I am not a good conversationalist. This is the only reason why this shit is hard. I'm not even good at having conversations with people. Like this because <laughs> you have to continue talking. Not a personable person. Mm. Anyways, this guy's me. And honestly, it'd be kind of cool if anyone shared my video. Because, I don't know. Be nice. Thank you guys. Maybe it will open up an opportunity for others to give me topics of the two vent about. Because honestly, I'm pretty good at fucking complaining. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'm also good at manifesting and positivity. So it's just as much as I'm good at complaining and bitching and using this fucking tongue for attitude, I know how to be able to get exactly what I want, make what I want, and be able to manifest that creation and that gold and that capital I need. Have a good day.